Stan Gibalisco here with the first of a series of what will eventually be 100 videos <clears throat> explaining all of the answers to the final exam in Trigonometry Demystified, second edition. That's this book. Second edition you'll find in the upper right hand corner. This does not apply to the first edition, but only to the second edition. We will start with question number one, which you will find on page 366 of the book. Question number one deals with a situation that involves a rule you should have learned in geometry called the Pythagorean Theorem. dealing with right triangles, that is to say, triangles that have angles with one of them being a 90 degree angle. This is a good start. My uh, erase cloth is, uh, seems to have turned up missing. I have to pull out some tissue now I'm going to have dry erase residue on my shirt, as if that's the worst thing that could happen to me today. Imagine a perfectly vertical flagpole in the middle of a vast, flat, level field on a sunny day. The pole is 20 meters high and casts a shadow that's 48 meters long. Okay, here's the field. Here's the pole and it's perfectly vertical pole, 20 meters high, and it casts a shadow. The sun is somewhere up there so that the tip of the pole casts a shadow and it's 48 meters long, 48 meters long. Well, because this pole is vertical and the field is horizontal, we know that that's a right angle, so we've got a right triangle. According to the Pythagorean theorem, if we square this, square that, add the two squares, and then take the square root of the result, we're going to get this length here, which we can call L. Okay. That's cool. 48 squared plus 20 squared equals L squared. That is what the Pythagorean theorem will tell us. Well, we take the square root of both sides and we get uh, a solution for L. When you work that out with your calculator, you are going to come up with exactly 52 meters. So L is going to equal 52 meters. That is the length of the sun line, or the distance between the top of the pole and the tip of the shadow on the flat field. That corresponds to choice a. 